Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Jake from todaysiphone.com and this is OS X Mountain Lion, Apple's latest OS X release, uh, the successor to Lion, and there are over 200 new features and obviously I can't show you all of them, but I'm gonna show you a few of my favorites. Uh, so let's start out with messages. Uh, now, uh, throughout this demo, you'll notice that most of the new features or most of the significant new features in OS X Mountain Lion are really just carryover features from iOS. Uh, messages is no different, obviously. This is iMessage, is Apple's um, iOS device to iOS device messaging client, and now uh, Mac computers are included in that with this application. Um, the app was in beta earlier this year, but Apple has now included it in as a stock feature in OS X Mountain Lion. And uh, you can see I've shot this a couple times, but let's just ignore that. Uh, so I'm going to, while testing out the messages application, I'm also going to go show you guys a quick demo of dictation. Now this is a really cool feature and it's one that I really haven't seen on any other computer. Um, I'm sure it exists somewhere, I just you know haven't seen it. Much like you can dictate text messages and notes and stuff on Siri, you can speak directly to your computer and it will transform your speech into text. Uh, so you have to enable this in system preferences, but once you do, you can set the shortcut. I have it set to double tapping the function key. So if I do that, this is a test of dictation and messages in OS X Mountain Lion. Okay, so you can see it got it perfectly and I will send this with the enter key and then it comes right back to me because, you know, it's a message to myself and you can hear my phone going off in the background. Um, so yeah, messages works exactly like you'd expect. There's FaceTime built in right over here, which is cool. But it works pretty well. I d will say that um, using iMessages on my iPhone and then coming back to my laptop has caused a bit of a problem. I used my phone all today with iMessage and I came back and turned on my computer and all of the texts that I sent with my phone came in as unread messages on my computer so I had like 63 unread messages so I had to turn off notifications on my computer while that sorted itself out uh, but those are they're gonna be some bugs and Apple's gonna work those out. Now speaking of the messages and the notifications, you will also notice that there's a notification center here in OS X Mountain Lion. And now you can get to it a few couple of ways. You can get to it one by clicking this, this menu right next to the spotlight button uh, right at the top there. And you can also set a shortcut. I have it set to two fingers sliding from the right side of the trackpad over to the left. And it just drags it right out like that. You can. Uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, you'll notice that there's a click to tweet button just like in iOS, so I'll do that and I will send a quick tweet. Sending this tweet from my notification center in OS X Mountain Lion with dictation. Uh, there's a, a slight typo right there, line versus line, but whatever, we'll send it anyway. So that tweeted right from notification center, which is very cool, and it was also a little uh, turn on and off alerts and banners, which like I said before, I. <laughs> had to use, unfortunately. Okay, so I'm just gonna turn on these banners and alerts so I can show you guys what uh, messages in Mountain Lion look like when you get them. So my messages application is closed right now, but you can see that it popped up anyway, and I can click it and it'll take me to the messages app, and if I don't click it, it's over here in the notification center for me to answer and respond to uh, when I want to. Okay, so now that we're done with messages, let's go into a couple new applications. Well, new to the computer, reminders and notes. Again, these are carryover applications from iOS, so there's not gonna be anything new here. Notes, you go in and um, you type a note. Now this replaces stickies in OS X, which um, if I'm honest, I don't know if I like this that much. I don't really like the look of the notes application. I like stickies much better. And I like Sticky's organization much better. You could have them wherever you want it on the screen. This is sort of like a uh, conjoined thing. And also, um, I don't know if this happened to me or to everybody, but I had a ton of Sticky's with like information stuff that I needed. And when I upgraded to uh, OS X Mountain Lion, the info in those Sticky's was lost. Like they were deleted. They did not get transferred over to the notes application. Uh, which is super annoying. So if you haven't already upgraded and you have information in your stickies that you want to save, I would definitely save in like a Word document or something. Just uh, heads up. And then of course there is a note of reminders, which again is basically looks like they took the uh, iPad app and just threw it on the computer. Um, I don't really like the look of these. I you know it, I don't like how it looks like they 
just uh, took a screenshot of the application open on an iPad and pasted it into OS X Mountain Lion. But, you know, it's something I'll have to get used to. And of course, both of these applications are integrated with iCloud. iCloud is integrated throughout OS X Mountain Lion. If we go into the system preferences, you'll see that there is an iCloud tab right here and you can sync all of this stuff, mail, contacts, calendars, notes, Safari. Um, so that's, that's cool. Again, it's an iOS feature that just happened to find its way on the laptop. So moving on, let's go into Safari, and there's a couple major changes in Safari. Um, so I'll just open up today's iPhone, and I'll open up Phone Dog, and I'll open up an article. So you can see the uh, the layout of the tabs is a little bit different, and there's no more Google bar on the right here. Apple took a page out of Google's book for once and combined the search bar and the URL bar into one, so you can either search for something in your search engine here, or you can type in a website and it's going to do the same things. It's, it'll just know. Um, Safari, you know, there's a couple minor aesthetic changes. You have the... Uh, tabbed browsing or the iCloud tabs you have some sharing options here Twitter messages email this page uh, Facebook will be here this fall, but Facebook integration has not yet made it to OS and Mountain Lion and something really cool is this tab view So you click that and then you can see all of your tabs laid out here like home screens on your iOS device And you'll also notice that there is a game center icon just like an iOS and it works just like it does in iOS um a couple of these features like iCloud and Reminders and Game Center, I don't, you know, see myself using. I don't use them on my iOS devices. I'm not going to use them on my computer. Um, I have to say, overall, you know, the update is fine. It's nice that it's cheap, and it's nice that if you buy it once, you can install it on all of your computers. Um, it's not that, um, you know, it's not that exciting. There's nothing really that new. Actually, there's really almost nothing that's brand new in it at all. All of the new stuff that we're seeing is old iOS stuff that's new for computers, but not new to Apple customers. So to wrap up, my overall opinion of OS X Mount Lion is it's a fine update. If you have 20 bucks to spare or you know you really want to get these new features, then go for it. But I don't think you're missing anything that big if you don't go for it. I wouldn't say that Apple has created anything, you know, revolutionary or anything like that. It's a incremental upgrade with predictable features. They, they work well, but they are predictable. And, uh, you know, it is what it is. So thank you guys very much for watching. My name is Jake and this has been OS X Mountain Lion. If you have any comments or questions, you can let me know in the comment section down below or on Twitter at TIP underscore Jake. And as always, don't forget for more news, views, and reviews, don't forget to check out todaysiphone.com.